building community through song and singing. And I think that is a fantastic thing to do and it's what I've done without labeling it. When I say singing in the spirit, it just means singing from the heart, singing from the soul, singing in an authentic place, sharing my, my, my um, joy of the music, my um, love of the message, messages of uplift, of encouragement uh, to someone else. And when we connect in that moment, it, it feels magical. And we leave better than we came. I think that um, singing together uh, is a phenomenal thing because when it's successful, we, we move to another level and we create something that's greater than ourselves. Um, I think music is a way to cross all kinds of divides, to build bridges, to make connections, and sometimes to get through to the heart and bypass some of the barriers that we have either um, on purpose or inadvertently set up. Um, I think that singing does, I think singing is, singing is healing. I think it's transformative. I think it brings us uh, to these deeper levels. It's an expression of feelings and thoughts and um, hopes and dreams and sorrows. That's one aspect is the expression of it. But then when we share that with someone else, another human being, all of a sudden we're not alone in this. We become a community. We are empowered. We make this sound together and through this, this thing that is bigger than anything we could do individually takes place. That's power. I think we can't underestimate the power of song and the power of music in our lives, in our communities, and as in a way of change or, you know, part of the whole idea of change. Singing, as Dr. Bernice Reagan has said, changes our condition. And so when there were times of trouble, or trials during the civil rights period, the people sang. And immediately it charged and changed the space around them. It empowered them. Uh, I've been in situations where the singing that, together of the songs that we do, particularly in the gospel tradition, gospel and spirituals, have created um, such a, a spiritual, um, warm and uh, inviting uh, place. So I have been privileged to go around the world singing my songs. to people in Ghana, to 
to people in the New England area, um, folks who never go to church, folks who go to church all the time, folks who would say they are either atheists or some other beliefs, folks who say they are stone heart Christians and everything in between. And with all of us, we are able to sing together, share the, uh, the spiritual connections together as us as human beings, spiritual beings. We're able to share, we're able to cry together, we're able to have joy together and celebrate. So music becomes like the denominator, especially gospel music, because that's part of what it was designed to do. Powerful because I watched, I felt like I was a witness to watching people grow and connections grow and bridges being built uh, in a phenomenal way with the people who came here, the people we sang to at the church and how they then embraced us. I'll never forget it. We started singing and folks were like, okay, I think they're gonna be all right. I don't know what they're gonna sing. To the point where they were standing and joining with us as singing. We were all combined hand to hand in prayer. And we became one. And then two choirs sang together as one. And it was just profound to see that happen. <laughs> just within a few hours or a few days. Just think what could happen if we had a little bit more time, a little bit more people. Just like change the world maybe, huh? <laughs>